Good morning from the Sierra Nevadas in California. I'm in the June Lake Loop, and today we're going to be hiking up from Rush Creek Trailhead, up Rush Creek to Horsetail Falls, and then hopefully to Lake Agnew in the Gem Lakes up there. Um, it's a beautiful day today, so it's going to be a very enjoyable hike. So let's see how much water is up in the backcountry today. Trailhead, there are bear boxes so you can store your food if you're doing overnighting. And there's also um, pit toilets if you need to use them in trash trash bins. There's a water spigot over here in the campground. Um, if you are spending overnight here, you need a backcountry wilderness permit because we'll be soon entering the wilderness. So let's get into it, y'all. Silver Lake and Highway 158. Horsetail Falls that's running a lot more than I'm used to seeing so I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot more water up here than normal than last year at least so this railway was originally used by miners and the original dam workers for Gem Lake since then Edison and company is has built more dams up here and they still use it to this day. This is Lake Agnew. It's still just as low as it was last year. It wasn't touching that wall there last year, but it's just barely touching it this year. So I'm hoping Gem Lake, which is the next dam up there, is full. I guess we shall see. It's probably a couple miles to get to it. Many times you'll be crossing these pipes and you'll see these grids. I have no idea what they mean, but they're all over the place here. If someone knows what they mean, tell me in the comments. Be curious to know. I'm not sure what that barge is for. That trail over there is to 
Clark Lakes would take you up towards the PCT and the JMT. So if you're feeling adventurous, at this turn, this switchback, you could go straight. And that takes you to the old pump house. There's a barrier telling you it's not necessarily the trail that you can go there. I've been there before. It's pretty cool. You can't get in any of the buildings, but you can explore around them pretty bit. A good bit. So we're going to keep on heading up. It's not up a lot, a lot, but there used to be like islands you could see there, so that's good. What a beautiful, beautiful day to be in the mountains. Gem Lake's a lot bigger than I thought. That's Clear Creek Falls over there. I'd like to get to the, the end of the lake. That would be nice. Well, I made it 4.5 miles up. That is the end of Gem Lake. Um, so I'm gonna use this as a turnaround point. About 9,100 feet right now. And like I said, 4.5 miles in. So I'm gonna head on back to the parking lot and uh, gonna have some lunch for sure. So let's do it. Right now I'm in the search for a ponderosa pine to smell it. They smell really sweet in California. All I'm finding is junipers. So I'm hoping to find a ponderosa pine up here. Here we go, we got a ponderosa, ponderosa pine here. I'm gonna smell right in that crack. Ooh. I'm well endowed for this, so your face may rub on bark, but I got a well endowed sniffer. It smells good, it smells like, like some type of sweet cotton candy or maybe ice cream. Everybody gets something different, but if you get a chance, smell a California ponderosa pine. You'll thank me later. I've only seen three people today on this trail. Beautiful day to be out here. more of those weird graph things they're all numbered 36 37 35 
34. I don't know. They're only on the pipe. You tell me. What do you what do you think it is? Because I have no clue, y'all. Little babies. So I'm nearly at the parking lot. So thanks for coming out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. It was a nine mile hike and about 1,200 feet in elevation each way. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed it, hit this like button. And if you wanna see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing a lot of content in the Eastern Sierra over the next couple months because uh, I'm working a seasonal job up here so stay tuned there's more to come calves out peace